Hello and welcome to Infinity. In my local camera club where I've got a lot of friends and we have fun, uh, we had a little thing recently where we gave each other sort of a relatively, you know, kind of a picture you might chuck away um, and say, do a bit of editing, see what you can do with that. So this is a picture from my friend John who normally takes great pictures and this is, oh, it was just one of those ones. And uh, he gave it to me, and so this is what I did with it. So let's start off then with, if I go down to the perspective tool down here, right click it's in there, and uh, I want to straighten up this bit of horizon here. So I'm going to drag a ruler from down here. So go into the ruler, that's going to be in the view, make sure we've got the move tool selected, and that'll drag all the way down to here, like that. Now I need the perspective because I can see what the horizontal is and I can drag this down till it meets that. Just because I like things straight. Didn't have to do it, but there we go. Then with the, that tool, can grab the blue line, check it up. Yeah, remember you've got to have the ruler visible for that, so view rulers. Right, now then what we're going to do is this is the main feature here, but it's sort of it kind of you want to see where it goes there so i'm going to click on the crop tool stretch this out sideways because when you do that it will automatically extend the canvas so you've got a wider picture so i can see this going all the way down here so i'm just going to do a little quick bit of cloning here i took a bit more care doing this with the other one but you can see the sort of thing so i'm just going to alt click up here uh, and it's got a full opacity hardness is low normally i do this on a separate layer as well but this is just to give you the idea so i'm just going to clone down to the bottom there then i want to get the other main thing which is this bit coming across to it so it just meets the c like that and i'm going to bring in some of the c with it i'm going to crop off this c because i don't need all of it so just a bit to take us down to the end there. Then the top of the mountain up there. Get that lined up so we can... And didn't quite get that right there. So let's get these lines kind of like fitting together. There we go, that'll do. Then now I'm going to just quickly bash in the rest. I took a little bit more care when I did this originally. There's a rocky outcrop there, you know, and I kind of get that reasonably. Here we go. Very, very quick and rough and ready. Normally I go over this and make sure it doesn't look like it's a clone. That'll do. So then now we're going to crop it back. So we've got the crop and back. So we've got the line down to there and then we'll come up here. So a bit of sea or lake or whatever it was. Uh, you can do some correcting on this if you need to, but that's roughly what it's going to be. So what am I going to do next? I'm going to add colour to it. So I will go to the adjustments here and go to HSL. This is just one way you can do it. There's lots of ways. But if I click on the HSV here and crank the luminosity up, it basically gets rid of all the blacks and you're just left with colour. And then the blend mode, if I go down to overlay, it drops in. You've got a very colourful thing there. So I can just turn down the opacity to something that, you know, is more perhaps realistic. Okie dokie. Next thing I'm going to do is go down to the shapes here and select the crescent tool. And I'm going to draw on this a crescent. Then I'm going to fit this roughly into the gully here. So it goes in like this. If you double click the shape, then you get these little red dots and you can drag those about to reshape that again and you know, rotate it to fit and so on. Then I'm going to put a blur on that and crank that up to, yeah, 100 is just fine for that. And then if I select the overall layer there, and this is where a little bit of magic happens, 
go to the blend mode and turn that down to overlay and I've got light and this light comes down here and I can play around with this as much as I like to fit that in and bring it down a little bit more into the lake there and up a bit, bit there etc and what I can do with that is I can say hit control J again to do another one but that's a bit much so I just turn down the opacity but I'm going to take this one here and sort of stretch it out a bit to give me a bit more overlay here and bring the opacity right down here so it just basically sort of pushes that out a bit in, a, in a, another bit of a layer there then I'm going to put in a, a vignette and uh, to do that I'm going to hit shift L which is my shortcut to library which you get via view studio normally and Dave's vignettes I showed those and gave those away free the link will be down below click on that and then shift L which is again my shortcut and then I've got stretch this to fit the picture and open this up over here and click on the curve there and I've got this is the shaping curve so I can now turn this around to I'm going to go this over the top of this so it's going to extend this bit further again and bring it just so into that sort of zone there and click on the hand so I can see it the edge is a little bit hard so I'll double click the Gaussian layer there it's about 200 let's put that up to 300 there we go that's just made that softer again um, I want a bit more light up here so I'm going to put in a uh, pixel layer on top get the paintbrush make sure I've got white and paint up there and turn that blend mode of that to screen so that really lightens that up and then gets a little bit more light in the sky just a little bit more up there oops there we go like that that's it now then um, what I can also do is go back to any of this because this is all non-destructive and I can say for example go back to this HSL and say let's turn the opacity up here a bit just to add a bit more light in here and then take one of those that crescent and turn that down a little bit because that's just a little bit much there so bring that back down again and there you go there's the finished picture literally going from here's the start and there's the end that was fun and thank you very much for watching